Welcome to another episode of Blonde in the Kitchen. Today, my mom will be sharing with you her recipe for tea cookies. They are very easy to make and they are melt in your mouth delicious. So to start, we're going to cream together butter and powdered sugar. When both the butter and powdered sugar are combined, go ahead and add your eggs. We're using one egg and one egg yolk. For that, we're going to add our vanilla, our nutmeg, and salt. For the full recipe, as always, I've included a recipe card in the video. It'll be right at the end. All of the measurements will be listed there. Now we're going to be adding our flour bit by bit and mix it together until all of the flour is in the mixture. And then we're going to add our nuts to the cookie dough. The melt in your mouth texture that comes from these cookies is from us using a good amount of butter and because we're using powdered sugar instead of granulated sugar in this recipe. They also have a bit of a sandy texture because of all of the finely chopped nuts. Now, because of the high content of butter in this recipe, we're going to let the dough chill in the fridge once the nuts are fully mixed into it. It's best to chill the dough for an hour to two hours before forming the balls. If you don't want to make your cookies on the same day that you made the cookie dough, this will stay good in your fridge for two days or in your freezer for up to two months. If you do decide to freeze the dough, then I recommend shaping them, placing them in your freezer, and once they're frozen, after about an hour or two, place them in a plastic baggie until you're ready to use them. All right, so here is what your cookie dough will look like once it's ready to rest. After it's rested, we're going to use a cookie scooper. The reason why is because it helps with making perfectly round balls for the baking tray. Now you want to set them just about an inch or two apart from each other because they do tend to spread out just a little bit when baking. Here are our cookies after they've baked in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Let them cool completely before giving them their first dusting of powdered sugar. And at this point, if you don't want any more powdered sugar, you don't have to add, but we like to get the bottoms covered as well. So that is why we have a bowl here with powdered sugar that we roll the cookies in. And that's it. Your tea cookies are done. These are a perfect cookie to have around for the holidays because they look like little snowballs. They're also perfect to give out as gifts for the holidays to your neighbors or family or friends. At this point, if you've watched our videos, I'm pretty sure you know that we can't let you leave before we serve up some tea or at least present you with these beautiful cookies plated properly. For goodness sake, they're called tea cookies. <laughs> so, as always, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and give us a comment down below. The recipe is here as promised. Yours truly, Blonde in the Kitchen.